my name is Tommy, I am a puppet maker, and in this video I will be showing you how to make Five Nights at Freddy's puppets out of paper lunch bags. Enjoy the tutorial. Okay, and welcome to this back to school special, and I thought it would be a great way to start the year with a very easy puppet craft project. So what you need, these are basically all school supplies, really. The googly eyes may not be, but definitely a good thing to have by. You can make your own, you can make your own eyes if you want. My birds say hi. Oh, well, those are my birds behind me. I'm using just regular school glue. So, no gloves required. We are using scissors. So remember, they are sharp and pointy. So just remember, knives and scissors are very sharp and pointy, so get an adult to help you. And I've got some pom-poms. You can use that if you want. If you can get, notice that they all have dollar store prices on it. That's exactly where I got them from. The dollar store is a great place to go for crafting supplies. You can use crayons if you want. However, I'm gonna be using paint. Okay, so you'll need a paintbrush. You can use whatever supplies you have lying around, basically. You definitely need glue. And you will definitely need some paper lunch bags. These are lunch bags. And again, look at the price. Everything you see here came straight from the dollar store except for the uh, construction paper. So I'm going to show you that these paper bags are already fantastic puppets. Now all you got to do is just put your hand through and there you go. That's your puppet. So that's what I'm going to show you. You might already be familiar with this, but I'm going to, I'm going to be making Five Nights at Freddy's puppets with these. So what I want to do is I want to first start to paint the paper bags the color that we want. So, in this case, for Freddy, we're going to be using brown, which the paper bag already is. So, if you want to make a darker brown, you can buy a darker brown colored bag if you want. I'm just going to, I'm just going to paint them all. And then for right here, we're just going to, uh, you can leave that if you want. But I do want to actually just paint the whole thing because it just looks a little bit nicer. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter by mixing a little bit of yellow. You get a lighter brown color. See, like that. Now we got to make sure that this is dry. So, actually it does not hurt to have an extra paintbrush handy. That's the one thing about me as an artist. I don't like cleaning the brushes, so I have lots of paint brushes. Wow. So I just end up buying lots, so. I know, I know, I should be cleaning them. Again, these paint brushes came from the dollar store. You can just get everything you need for this project from the dollar store. I'm telling you, it's great, kids. You'll have fun with this. There's Freddy. I'm only going to paint the front. And then, what you can do is you can take a light, lighter pink. I mean, I'm sorry. Lighter purple. I'm guessing this. Oh, okay. thought this paint went bad for a second there. We're just going to take a lighter uh, purple here. Oopsie. And again, you can use the construction paper. So anyway, there's the muzzle right there. That's Bonnie's muzzle. We're going to paint the belly. Well, how about that? I had just enough paint to finish this. So that's Bonnie. And then of course for Chica, we gotta paint her yellow. 
Again, this, this acrylic paint came straight from the dollar store. And I've been using this on a lot of puppets. And then we need to paint the beak. We actually do want to actually paint the mouth. So I'm going to be painting some orange just around the bottom too. And then of course we need to paint the bib on. You know what? I don't like this brush. You're fired. There we go. Now we got some nice brushes here. I like this brush. All right, there we go. Now this is a brush. So now we need some white. You're not gonna probably won't be able to see it on this palette. Or instead, we can paint this all yellow, and then the construction paper can be the bib. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So, start over. Ah, 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 I made a mistake. So we're gonna do the same thing, so just let me... That's, that's the nice thing, so don't throw it out just yet. You can use it as a reference. You can paint the bib on if you want, but I think we're gonna have more fun if we make it out of construction paper. It'll look a lot nicer too. That's something I didn't do for those other two. I should be painting underneath there. We're gonna let these dry and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, now we need to paint the inside. Okay, and here they are. And that's, and that's what it should look like when they're talking. Chica. Freddy. Okay, so it's time to bring out the construction paper. Now we're gonna make Freddy's ears. Now if you really want to make it look nice, you can make the belly with construction paper and glue it on here. And on the muzzle here, a red construction paper over here. I'm just gonna leave it how it is because I like them painted. So what we need to do is we need to make the ears. So take something round, we're gonna trace two circles. There's your circle. Now you wanna cut these two out. Might want to get an adult to help you with this. You can actually make these entirely using just plastic scissors, too. But anyway, Freddy's ears would go on the side like that. And as of right now, he kind of looks like a mouse. <laughs> so... So we're going to glue that on the back. As you can see, I didn't paint the back. Well, right now he looks like a mouse. What we need to do now is we need to make the hat. So we're going to need some black construction paper. So take a... Oh, this is not even a good backdrop for this. Almost like a rectangle. Just trim the corners off. I'll leave the corners a corner on, but trim the rest off. Should look like, like a fat letter T. Our Super Mario pipe. And there you go. There's Freddy's hat. Or on the back, we're gonna put it on front. And then it looks like it's resting on top of his head. Got Freddy's hat on. Now at this point, he actually looks like a monkey. <laughs> I'm sorry, my imagination's going a little bit crazy right now. Okay. Now we need to cut 
Basically, a bow tie is two triangles. There's your bow tie. So basically, there are two triangles that are glued together. Like an hourglass. So now, you're just going to glue that there. He actually does look like a monkey. I'm not even kidding. Now, next part is the fun part. Googly eyes, and we're going to put the nose on. So, actually, you can use these if you want. However, I'm going to use the colored one because Freddy has blue eyes. So I'm going to use the blue googly eye. He looks like a monkey. He totally looks like a monkey. Why does he look like a monkey? I need to fix this. Where, how about we make the ears last, okay? I'm going to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. You got the eyes on, let's get the nose on. I'm going to use a pom pom for that. Again, a buck twenty-five at the Dollarama. Okay, Freddy has this. Oh, I know what I'm missing. His freckles! Dun, 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 dun. Okay. This is exactly what's missing. Now that is looking like Freddy. Hello, boy. I was wondering what, if I was ever going to get that right. Don't forget those. We got the nose glued on. So, so there's Freddy for now. I'm going to put Freddy aside. So Bonnie has a red bow tie. Okay, we'll draw a line with a straight edge. Do this with the ruler, mixing stick, whatever you want. Alright. There is the bow tie for Bonnie. I know the bow ties look a lot different. But anyway, it's a different character. Oh well. Now we're going to make the ears. So we're going to take the paper here. We're just going to draw some nice ovals. They should almost look egg shaped. Now we're going to cut that out. You should have one of these. I'm just going to trace three more. Now, if you want, you can connect them with uh, round head fasteners that are very cheap. You can connect them like that, like we did with the paper pal, if you want to pose the ears. I don't think you need to do that. But we're going to glue these to the back. See, this looks nice. This actually go quite nicely with this color here fasteners because it'll look a little more animatronic like and plus you can pose it and it's so easy all you need to do is poke a little hole right through there they're not even sharp but do be careful and just poke another hole through this end with that same piece flip it upside down they should be through together and then Stretch it out like that. And then you have an ear that you can pose. And there we go. You now have the ears. Well, this is going to be cute. So we have ears that can be posed. It's your paper bag puppet. And. If you want, if you don't have googly eyes, you can actually just make them, you can easily make it entirely out of construction paper. It's gonna look 
And Bonnie has red eyes. And then, he also has a black nose. Oops. Now this actually looks like Bonnie. It came out looking like Bonnie the first time. Well that's Bonnie. We will get back to him later. Let's move on to Chica. Now we're going to make the tusks. That we're going to make the feathers for Chica. So we need our yellow construction paper. And then you're just gonna draw, they kind of look like leaves almost. Kind of look like a leaf. Or actually, looks like an eye. There we go. Or a, a skinny, uh, not like watermelon, a skinny lemon. Just cut out two more of these. You can definitely trace. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. So what you need to do is you should have three of these. Should look like yellow leaves. So just stack two together like that. Should look like a little tree sapling. And we're going to glue that on top, just like this. And that's what we're going to put on top of Chica's head. I think she looks adorable so far. Okay. Now we need googly eyes. Chica has purple eyes, but there is no purple here. But there is a hot pink color, so we're going to use that instead. Alright, and then we need the bib. We'll need the white construction paper. So you just cover, it's easier to, to do it where you want to place it. I want to place it just right there. And then you're going to draw where you want to put it on. Then we're going to cut that out. You make it a little bit longer if you want. A little shorter. And there you go. So you can actually paint the speckles on and and I'm probably gonna do that. That is a very colorful. All right, we're ready to move on to Foxy. We are gonna come back to her. Foxy. Well, we definitely need to make the eye patch. And we're gonna cut out a small little eye patch with black construction paper. And you will also need to cut a thin line. Very small thin line. Like that. There's a piratey eye patch. And then we gotta have the little rips in its belly. If you wanna add that, the DK, you can absolutely do that. So I am actually going to. There. That looks like a rip. You can do this, it is optional. If you don't want to, entirely optional. All right, so let's get the nose and his eye on. 
Again, I'm gonna use the black pom pom. And I'm gonna be using a yellow googly eye because that's the color of his eyes. And for the ears, can't forget the ears. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a leaf for the ear because he has pointy ears, he's a fox. You don't have to have this inner layer. I'm just trying to make the ear a little bit bigger. Then we're gonna cut that out. Just careful when you're cutting, kids, please. Okay, now Foxy has the ears on. And there you go. So we just need to get the ears back on Freddy. Here they are so far. Now let's add a teeth. Here, we're gonna make some teeth. Cut out a bunch of white squares on construction paper. Now we have fully functional lunch bag puppets. Give me kink. I want kink. I'm hungry. In your soul. Can I burn something? Okay, now we need to make Chica a cupcake. I'm drawing the wrong way, so we're gonna draw on the frosting. And go a little bit bigger, smaller, however you want. I'm gonna cut that out. Get your brown. Take your frosting. Now you're going to draw. Cut that out. Glue it on. Cut the eyes out on black paper. You have your eyes, glue them on. And here's what you should have so far. Make the candle, cut a long skinny strip of light construction paper, glue it on top. Cut out some circles for the eyes. Glue the eyes. And then he's got a couple of teeth here. I'm going to cut some tiny circles for the eyes there. On yellow paper. We're also going to cut the flame out. I'm going to light the candle. Glue that on top. Now we're gonna cut some eyes out on yellow construction paper. I'm gonna glue them right here. Actually, we'll need some tiny little dots. Actually, if you have a hole punch, a hole punch would be great for this. Here's our little cupcake. Oh, let's decorate the candle a little bit. Cut some very thin strips.
And there you have it. Five Nights at Freddy's Paper Lunch Bag Puppets. You can call them the Five Nights at Freddy's Paper Puppet Pals or whatever you want. And don't just stop at Five Nights at Freddy's. Make your own characters. You can make anything out of these. You could, you could make a rat or a cat, a dog. It could be a human or you can even make Bendy or Tattletail or Pokemon, whatever. So don't just stop at Five Nights at Freddy's. The possibilities are endless when it comes to paper bags and making puppets. Bon Bon, yeah, there you go. If you want a, you want a quicker and easier way to make a Bon Bon puppet for your fun time, Freddy mask. There's your solution. Even Chico approves. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.